A lot of us, including me, were told when, you know, when we were children not to be overly emotional. Does that sound familiar? I had something happen to me very recently that gave me a very different perspective on emotions. And I want to share that story with you because I know it's going to help you on your journey. Hey there, it's Kate Beaters, your breakthrough success expert. So a couple weeks ago, I was leading a three-day intensive for my private clients. And what that really is, is three days, we all get together. My clients come in from all over North America, Canada, all of, you know, different states and all that. They fly in and we spend three days together strategizing for the next quarter and I tend to stay at home I don't tend to not stay at the, at the venue because it's close enough it's you know about a half hour from my house and I personally you know if it's that close I'd rather sleep in my own bed so I'm driving there and about halfway on the ride something happened that kind of triggered me and reminded me of my dad and for those of you who don't know, my dad passed away um, a little shy of two years ago from, from today. And there's still times, and if you've been through this, you know that you know you kind of get hit with grief. It just kind of hits like a wave. And that's kind of what happened to me. I don't know whether it was something I saw, something that the, the announcer said on the radio, or it was a song. Something happened to remind me of my dad. And I started getting really, really teary. Then all of a sudden, I said to myself, like, Kate, you know, like, like almost like someone threw cold water on me, like, Kate, you can't act like this. You know, you're going to be at your location in about 15 minutes. You can't go into this, this intensive that you're leading being all teary-eyed and all emotional. They're not, you know, they're expecting you to be strong and positive and uplifting and all that. You can't go in all weepy-eyed. So I kind of said, to myself and yes I do have conversations with myself and actually with my brilliant self that's who I have my conversations with my is my brilliant self and I said well what can I use to help me you know I've got lots and lots of tools and resources I'm an expert in you know a zillion different things what's going to help me in the best way and what actually popped up for me was to do an affirmation the words just kind of came to my from my brilliant self to me and I want to share them with you is that I started saying to myself which is words we use in tapping I love and accept myself and I said that as I I read in exactly as I am and I said that as I, I took my breath out and I did that several times you know just try that with me I love and accept myself and now breathe out exactly as I am and that calmed me down so instead of feeling that I had a quick get rid of these um, these sad feelings instead I just accepted myself exactly where I was I felt the sad feelings and then I was able to let them go so I wanted to share this with you because emotions you want to be able to use them for good and, and to help you however it is going to help you and I'm, I really hope that this story that happened to me helps you and that maybe this might be a resource that you want to use when you're going through a tough time just not necessarily to stay in this place forever but just just to kind of accept yourself exactly where you are realizing you don't have to put on armor or act like you know wonder woman or superwoman at the, the moment or a superhero that you can just be who you are be vulnerable do what you need give your heart what it needs listen to your brilliant self until we meet again be brilliant